Hi, just a little look at this uh, Garmin GPS unit uh, that I've got that is um, not doing anything. It's uh, it's not charging, it's not uh, turning on or doing anything like that. So I've taken out the uh, four screws here and here's what it's like inside. This is a, for those playing along at home, it is a Garmin Drive 61 LMTS. So um, it's still a very nice uh, GPS. And I want to get this one back up and running because um, I've just got a, uh, a new-ish used um, Hyundai Santa Fe and it does not have built-in mapping. Apparently that's a thing now. All like lower end cars do not have built-in mapping and the dealer said oh it costs you know several thousand dollars in manufacturing costs to have built-in mapping so it you know supports android carplay and the apple uh, play or whatever it is right which is great but um if you don't have you know cellular reception then you know you come and go through if you're in the middle of whoop whoop in the outback um then yeah having like a, a real gps with the real maps built in is good i know you can download them to your shoe phone and everything but you know Anyway, um, I want to get this one back up and running. So it looks like it's it's pretty old. Um, here's the battery for it. it it's uh, 2017 there on this uh, phenomenal 3.7 uh, lithium ion battery. Not that lithium polymer rubbish, lithium ion. Thank you very much. You know, it's a reasonably old model, but I still believe it's still pretty schmick and you can get lifetime map updates uh, for these things. So, so you can see the USB uh, mini B there. None of that uh, USB um, C rubbish. All of our uh, G GPS uh, receiver is in here and let me flip it over and on the bottom here we can see there's our GPS uh, patch antenna there um, yeah there's our mini B nice you know it's it's solidly um, soldered onto there so you know I haven't seen I've been using um, these Garmin ones for like 20 years or something and um, they're they're pretty robust um, you know a lot of people talk about oh the mini B um, it, it's a problem, but I've never had an issue with it. So anyway, there's our battery connector. We've just got a, uh, a micro SD card slot there. It's a three terminal jobby. So it looks like it's got a little uh, thermistor in there for any over temperature business. And there's no puffiness um, in that at all. So let me plug it in. Let me show you what it actually uh, is doing here. So here we go, I'll plug it in. Now I've left it plugged in for uh, quite some time and it just does not charge. Um, but it's it's pulling something. As you can see, it's uh, like, uh, well, 1.1 watts, 0.7. So yeah, we're talking like, you know, 0 0.13, 0 0.2. Like it seems to like it's periodically jumping up as if maybe the, um, you know, the charging starting, it's going in charging mode and then going, no, nah, nah, I'm going to back off, right? So... It seems to, and it never, you know, I've left it there for like a day and it doesn't seem to do anything. So that battery might have uh, come a gutter, but uh, something is, something is happening there. Anyway, I thought we'd uh, measure the battery voltage, so let me try and get in there. Okay, let's go the red and the black there. I've got my fine little probies here. Oh, 2.5 volts. 2.5 volts. That's not going to do the business, is it? It's dropped down to 2.5 volts. That could um, be in, um, like we saw with that um, uh, battery the other day, that uh, Goal Zero one, there could be some like under voltage uh, lockout uh, happening there. So let's have a, another look inside here and see what we've got. Is there, there's probably a battery protection. Yeah, in fact, uh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it. There's battery protection PCB on top of that. Um, but the interesting thing is, is that uh, this thing, it, it doesn't switch on even when I override it with the, and, and I believe this is supposed to be working. So, um, like why it doesn't come on, uh, trust me, when I plug in the LCD um, here, it, it just does absolutely nothing. When I um, plug in the external USB, I can't press the power switch, which is under there. They've got a little lever like that, and it oh, pops up like that. That little tactile switch there, I can feel the clicky click in that. Um, that seems to be okay. So yeah, it just it just does not switch on. So uh, potentially, it just maybe that's a protection thing. It doesn't, uh, it won't allow switch on if the battery's dead, perhaps, which kind of sucks. You would think that the you know pro providing your five volts on the Mini B would be you'd be able to override that, but nope. 
Now if we really go in there on the solder joints there, that looks absolutely fine. So there's nothing doing there. I do believe you can buy like replacement batteries for these, so I could just buy one. So <laughs> this video is a bit uh, superfluous, but um, maybe I can see if I can get a, um, I might have something in my stock here that we can actually just bodge in there in the meantime, just to see if this thing uh, gets up and going again. Let me have a look. Might have a win and win a chicken dinner here. I've got a uh, 600 milliamp hour uh, 20C jobby. It's like, you know, one of those um, <laughs> high output uh, ones designed for like, you know, RC. It's a similar thickness and everything else. So uh, let's, let's have a measure on that. And what do we get? Minus 3.7. Looks like it's got some charge in it, so... But because this is a connector that I don't readily have, uh, I am would have to, like, bodge something in there, which is a real pain. Um, you know, like, uh, really getting down there to solder into there with the metal can and everything, that's a real pain. Um, just to sort of, like, bodge something in. Ugh, don't like it. So I think maybe the best approach at this point might be to try and just put some uh, juice in this from a power supply and uh, see if we can um, just get it back up to the point where it's, you know, out of some sort of maybe under voltage lockout uh, thing and seeing if it'll start accepting a charge again. So I think I'll do that. Okay, so you'll see the uh, power supply over there. I've set it to 4.2 uh, volts, which is the maximum uh, cell voltage for a lithium ion uh, cell and I've set it to uh, 0.4 amps, which is um, half C because uh, C is like 800 uh, milliamps here So I've just set it to half that um, so it should go into constant current mode at 400 milliamp But we're still on this side of the protection thing So it, it may do absolutely nothing, but I'll give it a burl anyway So our black is in the middle, isn't it? And our red is on the outside So I'll switch that on Okay, it's now on, constant voltage mode, and constant current, yep, yep, constant current, there we go, it's charging, that is good, you can see the voltage rising there, fantastic, maybe there's an issue with the charging circuit on the board, anyway, that's great, um, I'll spare you the details, I'll just hold it here for a while, <laughs> <laughs> this is where like I, I could get like my weighted uh, probes and things like that to just actually do that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do that. Hang on. So here we go. I've got some weighted probes here. These are real handy. And can I connect? Yep. Yeah. No. Hang on. Is that making contact? Well, that's odd. Yeah, that's just changed. It's now to 70 milliamps and it's constant voltage. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it's a bloody contact thing. Jeez, it's tricky to get... Ah, oh, no! Got it, got it, got it. There we go. <laughs> Hands off. There we go, there we go. It's charging. My battery's charging nicely. It's accepting a charge. There you go, and the voltage is going up. Oh, no, no, it's jumping back and forth. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is plug that back in and see if that's overcome anything in the protection circuit or whatever and by the way it doesn't work if I disconnect the battery and then just plug in the external uh, power that doesn't do the job either ah, hold on to your hat we have now a constant a constant current there 170 milliamps that that is better it's not jumping around like a jackrabbit anymore we have a winner winner chicken dinner. Um, you can see it like I've just plugged it back in and we're now getting what, 2 watts, 0.37 amps and it is on. It is on. You can see it on the screen there. Probably have to adjust the brightness or whatever. But, aha, we're in. It's working. There you go. It's not exactly new, but it is. Japanese cell in there. So, you know, look at that. Cell from Japan. There you go. So... Um, uh, 4 watts, yeah, this is only going to get like an hour's usage tops, but anyway, it is working. So, there you have it. Um, let me, yeah, so I'll put this thing back together. Agree, yes. Where to? View maps, settings. There you go, it's showing a charging indicator up in there, but 
it's not showing any capacity. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. The battery's obviously Kamigatsa, but we were able to at least um, get it to get back out of there and start accepting some sort of charge again. Um, it might be no surprise if this thing just doesn't work when I disconnect the, uh, let it tr attempt to charge up and then disconnect the uh, USB brightness. 20%, that's why it's not very bright. There we go, well there's your problem. Yeah, there we go. It jumped up from 4 watts to 4.8 watts. Now we have a screen, a bright screen. I can turn my lights back on and we can see it. Excellent. So there you go. That's just another case of um, the battery. Uh, well, in this case, it, the battery might have come a gutter, um, but it was low at 2.5 volts and probably went into under voltage lockout. We just need to give it a little kick up the pants. Not sure why the external USB um, uh, supply couldn't do that. But anyway, once I hooked up uh, the power supply, it, it's, it goes in constant current straight away. And we feed 400 milliamps constant current into it. No worries. Seem to have um, come good again. So, but yeah, I think that's um, potentially one sick puppy because I'm sure if I just, oh, whoa. Was that just a timeout? What happened there? Oh, have I got a dicky connection on the, on the screen or something? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'll put this thing back together. I'll get a new battery for it and uh, we should be good to go. Anyway, if you like that video, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.